Being aligned and centered has a profound effect on your energy field, on your energetic field, on your aura. It becomes a protective force that doesn't really protect you so much from outside influences as you may believe, but what it does is it helps to protect you from becoming old aspects of yourself, which might have you believe that outside influences have a huge effect on you. I know it's almost paradoxical, but when we do this healing work and we align, we get into the heart space, we get into the solar plexus, the sacral, the root chakra, we get our energy moving, our channel is clear, and it comes up here. It manifests a high-frequency field that becomes our reality, and our reality really becomes a high-frequency reality. But when we are not centered and not aligned, what happens is it allows our energy to manifest old aspects of us that were created based on traumas. You know the aspects of you that rise up whenever your senses experience something that makes you feel unsafe, that makes you feel fear, that makes you feel scared or uncomfortable, right? That opens the door for these old traumatized wounds to step forward. Now, if you are not aligned and not, not centered, your attention, your focus, your energy can instantly shift out of your body and into this aspect of you that was created from some past event. And I know you've experienced this many times. I have when something triggers you externally and all of a sudden the mind starts going on, well, perceives a problem, there's a threat. Now we got to feel small. We've got to protect ourselves. We go into fight or flight mode. We have to figure out how to solve the problem. That is conditioning. And when you are not centered, when you are not aligned, when you are not present, it opens the door for these aspects to rise up and take control. The field or energy field around these traumatized wounds are stronger, essentially, than the energy field that you have manifested in the moment, meaning the field that you have of presence and of alignment. So when you lean into or align with these old wounded aspects, you are shifting from a weakened field into a powerful aspect of you that was created from trauma. So it's got like a stronger resonance and it has like a gravity to it that instantly pulls you out of alignment and into that. That's why it's so important. I talk about all the time about anchoring, about centering, about getting into the body. When you get your presence, when you get your focus, your consciousness, your awareness into the body, you maintain this strong field. Now, what happens are doesn't mean you're not going to get triggered, but when you get triggered, these aspects of you are going to rise up, but they're not going to have the same power. They're not going to have that same effect. They are not going to instantly draw you into them. You're not going to instantly identify with them and become small and become scared and become fearful. You are going to be so anchored and present in your body that you are going to be able to hold the space and allow these aspects to rise up and simply be seen and be felt, which is what we want to do. If we don't have that presence about us, we can instantly become these traumatized wounds and you could hang in that energy field for hours, for days, sometimes even for weeks, right? And the more you entertain it, the more you allow it to be, the more control it has over you. It's like you're being taken over by some unseen force, right? We have lost our free will and we are being controlled by a wound. It's simply energy. This is the same effect as when we think that we need to protect ourselves from outside energies that are dangerous, that are bad, that are dark. It's really just our beliefs that are creating these identities, that are allowing these identities to come up saying that I can be controlled, that I'm vulnerable, that there's something external that can harm me. Of course, there are things that can harm you physically, but the things that I'm talking about are simply energies 
that our mind says that's an, a real threat. And it's not. It's just a program. It's a trauma. It's a wound. And the more we allow those wounds to grow in strength when they come up to be experienced, the stronger the allure that they have to pull you out of your body and into this old identity. It's like you forget who you are and you're being controlled by some situation that happened in the past. This happens all the time. I work with a lot of people that, that that's their life. They are constantly being pulled in to these old aspects in living in fear. Now, that is no way to live. Can you imagine how exhausting it would be to be constantly worried, constantly feel like you're under a threat, and constantly being controlled by something that happened to you a long time ago? As we move forward in this ascension journey, it's so important to release what has happened in the past. If you don't release that, your past becomes your future because you are stepping into the shoes of these identities that carry this heavy energy from traumas that you experienced when you were younger. And some of this goes back even prior lifetimes, right? It's all there for you to heal. So we create a strong energetic field. We become balanced. We become anchored by becoming present, connecting with your body so that when these wounds surface, when we're triggered and these traumas arise and these fears come forward to the point where your ego wants to make you small and keep you safe, fight or flight, you can simply allow that energy to be felt. You feel it fully. You maintain your observational power, the awareness of what's happening, and now not allow yourself to get pulled into that energy and get lost for hours, days, or even weeks. That's where your greatest power lies. It's in that power to observe, to be able to experience and feel the energy that has been stuck within your body. Let's When you get triggered, the energy is simply being released. It's coming up to be processed. It's the mind that creates all the stories around it and tells you that we need to do something or figure out some solution right now so that we can feel safe. I ask you this one question. What if you were able to let go of having to find a solution in the moment and simply decided to reconnect and get centered and get aligned and breathe with that energy? I guarantee in that moment, you will connect with a sense of peace that is connecting with your higher self, with your guides, with your inner being, your intuition, and allowing yourself to feel that safety in the moment simply, not by problem solving, but by reconnecting with your body. We want to be here. We don't want to be out there. When you reconnect with your body, you are strengthening your energy field and these old wounds, these old aspects, the ones that say I'm not worthy, I can't make money, I cannot find abundance, I can't find that loving relationship. All of those stories that your ego is creating and that you are entertaining, all of them become just simply a movie that you're watching. You are observing it. You are feeling the emotional energy. We don't want to ignore that. We don't want to repress any aspect of us. We want these as aspects to be seen. We want to feel the energy. And when we feel that energy and don't allow ourselves to become it, we just simply hold space and feel it and breathe with it and stay connected in here, you start to reclaim that energy more of that stuck energy now becomes part of the whole and it starts moving, its frequency rises. And when that happens, you attract more of your higher frequency light, more of your higher self drops in, in lands and you embody it. Your gifts start to come online. You start to feel abundant. You start to feel loved. You start to experience gratitude, joy and peace. 
regardless of what your mind, your ego is doing, you know how to reconnect in here. That is the game changer. That is the key to getting past everything that's been keeping you stuck. The only reason you're feeling stuck is because you are choosing on some level, mainly unconsciously, to align with an aspect of you that experienced being stuck or being scared, being traumatized at some point in your life. There's a difference between feeling and experiencing this energy and becoming this energy. We don't want to become it. You want to allow yourself to feel it. It is bringing energy that has been tucked away because we haven't wanted to feel it. We're holding space and allowing it to come forward. And your higher self is guiding you into trigger situations to give you the opportunity to do that. So when you can learn to allow yourself to flow and stay connected in these situations, your life will change. I guarantee it. I've seen it over and over again with people that I work with. If you are at the point where you really want to get past that stage, you want to get out of your own way and allow life to start to flow so that you can manifest all the things that you feel are available to you in your heart, the things that you know you're worthy of, send me an email to marketsoulintegrationcoach.com and I'll send you a link for a free call so I could explain how you and I together can get you through that point, across that bridge that you up until this point have been searching for and have been unable to find. We will find it together. If you're interested, again, send me that email. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.